Good evening and welcome to The Experts, our popular news segment where we gather a panel of experts to discuss the latest headlines of interest to me. My first guest has entertained families for generations. Please welcome Lamb Chop. Hello, Brian. Hello, Lamb Chop. Also, um, me, Sherry, Sherry Lewis. Oh, Sherry Lewis Hi. as well. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. Hi, Sherry Lewis. How are you? Hello. Also joining me today is Christine Melody Baker, a successful small businesswoman who waited too long to have children. Yeah. Christine, how are you? Um, I'm hanging in there. Okay. <laughs> and finally, our last guest is the world's most famous vigilante crime fighter. Please welcome the Dark Knight himself, Batman. Thank you. Thank you for that welcome, and thank you uh, for having me. You are, are uh, seem very up for Batman. I appreciate you saying so. Uh, call it uh, Batman 2.0. Oh, really? Where it's like I'm just I'm trying to drop drop as much of the negativity as I can. I'm trying not to get involved in everybody else's problems, and I'm feeling good, feeling healthy, and feeling good. Well, good for you. Hey, no sweat. First topic is obesity in America. Obesity's tripled since 1960. Morbid obesity is up 600%. There's a huge price tag associated with obesity in the U.S., $190 billion just to medical uh, spending alone per year. What should we do? Because when, when smoking uh, was 20% of our medical tab, we, we took action. They had punitive taxes. They did the campaigns. Uh, obesity is now 50%, adding 50% to our medical tab. Do we need some kind of obesity tax, uh, Sherry? Well, you know, I think that we need to look at the bigger picture of people. I don't want to put all the blame on the fat people. Yeah, I do, okay? I want to round up the fatties and starve them until they get thin because I'm so sick of looking at them, of paying for them. Okay, okay um, that's not even, okay. yeah, that's not, um, that's okay. not practical. Inappropriate. Sometimes she's a loose cannon. Yeah. So I'm sorry that's right. about that. She should put a quarter in a jar for every time Shut she up. talks like that. Okay. That, yeah, that's a, that's a gloomy approach. Christine, uh, what do you think? Obesity tax? Well, I, I kind of, I'm good with the way things are now. I, uh, I feel like people eat for a variety of different reasons. You know, we turn to various coping mechanisms when things don't go the way that you thought they would. Um, so I think, say, you know, let them eat. And, uh, and also, I, I'm fine paying tax. Uh, for them, I, I have a whole college fund that I'll, I'll never use, uh, so. Batman, obesity tax? Let me tell you what we shouldn't do to get people to lose weight. And that is drive around in a $3 million car and sneaking up around people and rabbit punching them, trying to convince them to not be fat anymore. Mm -hmm. Quick story, I'll t in fact, the fattest guy I ever met was, uh, what's his name, the penguin. Okay. That guy, and let me tell you something, very obstinate, guy very much sort of wrapped up in his own problems it's a criminal no amount of yeah straight up criminal no amount of smoke bombs uh stealth batarangs and stuff could a make him not a criminal much less make him lose any of that weight well i don't think we're proposing violence to, to i get, am i know you are but well, I. that's what i'm saying is i i think that this new like a, a taxation a way to sort of like spread around the pain of that thing i think is the way to go this is i like the idea of sanctions I like the idea of dialogue, where we go into these communities and we say to obese people, what do you need to be the best you? Like if Batman came and was like, I love you, fat person. Okay, I mean, that, that, would, be a, that would be a major task for one individual to do. I mean, yeah, that's, tell me about major tasks, man. Right. Like, ugh. I mean, it's a big country filled with a lot of big people. Tons of them. Too many fatties. Okay. Jeez. Uh, let's move on to... Uh, the Osama Obama controversy. Now, we all know a year ago, uh, Osama bin Laden uh, got shot up by SEAL Team 6 on the orders of the president. Uh, he's just released an ad letting everybody, reminding everybody that, that he greenlit that and also suggesting that Mitt Romney wouldn't, wouldn't have had the, uh, the intestinal fortitude to, to do the same thing, to make the same call. First of all, do you believe that's true? Do you think Mitt Romney would have, would have you know, said, no, let's not kill a, a bin Laden? I hope so. I mean, I would hope that for anybody, that anybody would say, oh, hey, here's a random person. Let's go hurt them. Not random. It's well, uh, Osama bin Laden. Too true. Too true. Uh, I'm not here to take his inventory. There's so many questions. So the idea that we would brag and be like, hey, guess what? Guess what? I kicked the Joker to death. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say that because that's a weird, that's a weird thing to that, be happy though. about. Well, did you do that? Yeah. well Absolutely. I did awesome. do that. Absolutely. Awesome. If yeah. you were running for mayor of Gotham, you probably would say, hey, I just want to remind you guys, I kicked the Joker to death. Correct. If I if I was running for mayor of Gotham, I would have said, "Guess what, Gotham? We have severe infrastructure problems. Somehow this city is all back alleys. How did we build a city that's all steam pipes 
and grates and alleyways. You know, also, how did we get the income distribution the way it is, where there's basically just like homeless people with pipes and then billionaires, you know, like, uh, so quite frankly, you know, if I was running for mayor of Gotham, that's a whole bunch of Michigan guys that I don't even want to dirty my hands with. But if I was, I would have said, hey, Gotham, good morning. I, you know? I think you're right, Batman, and I just think it speaks to a larger problem in this country that there is some sort of, there's a type of person that that ad appeals to. Yeah, and that person is me, okay? I wish that ad was more violent. I want to see pictures. I want to see proof. I want to see that body. I want to see the tape of how they did it. I'm so interested. You know what, Lamb Chop, you want oh, a juice man. box? I brought juice yeah. boxes. Oh, Anybody box. else want a juice That's, box? No, thank Anything? you. Anything? No? It'd be tricky Sweet. at this no, point. Are you Can you sure? save one for me? Uh, yeah, sure. White House Correspondents' Dinner, which happened recently. Something Gawker called the single most revolting annual gathering of pseudo-journalistic bad wordery in all the land. Is it fair or is it wise for our fourth estate, our journalists, to be mingling with the people they are covering and ostensibly are supposed to uh, be unbiased toward? Or do you think it's just, it's okay, this, this annual gathering? Schmooze fest I mean, and it's nerd only, prom. Sorry. It's nerd prom. <laughs> I didn't go to my prom. Oh, uh, it's uh, it's funny. They. Um, I feel like there's nothing wrong with just every now and again getting close to what what interests them. You know, the White House is very interesting, and these reporters want to be near it. So they once a year they go and they're and they're near them. Uh, you know, it's people ask me all that that all the time. You know, like why are you sitting in this playground? Why are you here every day? You know, and it's just. I want to be near that, so I, I just I don't think there's anything wrong with it, and I don't think we should judge them. Okay, uh, Batman, and do you think their journalistic integrity suffers if uh, you know the journalists are, are milling about and, and socializing with their, the people they're covering? Well, uh, I'll tell you a quick story about politicians. Uh, this is my experience with that. I used to know a guy named Two Face. Uh, mm -hmm. Rewind two years ago, Two Face was trying to blow up a monastery. Uh, in town, and I was trying to poison him with some sort of hovering dart system. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous for two guys to be doing in, in any context. So if there was some sort of correspondence dinner that he and I could have gone to, where you go, you get a little baked Alaska, and you have a laugh about how Chris Christie's fat, mm -hmm. who knows how much better off we both would have been, you know? I don't know. I'm all for it. If, you know, anytime people break bread, the Batman 2.0 is going to say, butter, you're welcome. Um, is anybody hungry? I, yeah. I made, uh, I baked some cookies. Oh, you know that's, what it that's sounds? nice. Yeah, yeah. I'll break those over here. Yeah, no, yeah, I bake them uh, every weekday at around 2.15. Oh. When, you know, if I had kids, then they'd be coming home from school. So, um, oh, if anybody's hungry, uh, I have milk here, too. Whole milk, so Whole we're milk. all still growing. Right. Uh, oh, if anybody wants. May I? I take it. Yeah. yeah. By oh, all right. means, go. Please. Slow down. Go Slow for it. chocolate chunk. Just, uh, <laughs> Don't get morbidly oh. obese or lamb chop will be sending you away. <laughs> just work out, fatties. Medical marijuana. Pro. I'm just I'm watching you eat your munchies. Uh, medical marijuana. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel took Obama to task at the correspondence dinner oh. that he was hosting. You got, you uh, got reminding people that the candidate Obama had said he wouldn't use the Department of Justice to pursue medical marijuana uh, or, or to oppose government uh, state laws on medical marijuana. But he, he didn't live up to his word. The DOJ is going after all the dispensaries in California. Uh, first off, have you ever smoked marijuana, Batman? None of your business. Drug users are a cancer on this city, a cancer that I am here to excise. Oh, God. Oh. I'm sorry, man. Oh, pardon me. That was, That's terrible. Oh. Is that like a relapse into old Batman 1.0? It completely was. I got to do, hold on, I got to do my exercise. Hold on. 10. Nine, eight. While we're waiting for boring Six. Batman to finish counting, I would like to say pro marijuana. Pro marijuana and Sherry? Um, I've never smoked. Never so. smoked, not even. No, it's hard. Uh, lamb chop really uh, smokes a lot, so I try to stay away from it. Mm -hmm. uh, Christine. Yeah, um, I uh, I'm for the legalization of marijuana because uh, I. I don't need to feel like a criminal on top of all the other feelings I have. So, um, yeah, I, I smoke. I smoke every single day. Wow. Okay. Sorry uh, for that thing before. Yeah, I smoke pot like it's my job. We should smoke together. I have a huge house. Come by. And I'd rather we do it at at home. You know, I'll if we're gonna smoke, we should smoke. I'll be to that. I don't want to be stuff. too 
I don't want to be too forward, but uh, my special lady, Diane, she's hi hiking the Appalachian Trail right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm in a very dark place, oh. just like lonely. I know, loneliness. I would love to get together and just see what happens. Oh, <laughs> wow, um, wow, I, I'm flattered. She should, you should be a beautiful person. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Let's let's wrap this up so you guys can maybe go out on a date or something. Please. By yeah. all means, that would be. You don't need protection with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm not gonna say that's not a thrill. I have a barren, dark, empty, cold, hideous womb. Well, I, oh. think, I haven't grow I, anything. I have an Audi. Oh. Like, you know, come on, relax. Do you, do you punch your Audi in the stomach every morning when you wake up? Because I just sit there and bang away at my ovaries and scream, why? Oh, why? Wow. Thank you. That's all the time we have for this week's BS of A. Now, if there's anyone you'd like to see on The Experts, please email theexperts at gbtv.com or leave us a message on our Facebook page. And if you're not a fan of our Facebook page, just search The BS of A with Brian Sack on Facebook and, and, and like us or love us. I'll see you next week for a brand new episode of The BS of A. Thank you to Batman, Christine, Sherry, Lamb Chop. Good night.